Oh my god, Chanel vibes. Oh, it's glam. I love it. Because it's cute, duh. Who wouldn't want a turtle in a necklace in summer? Like I do. <laughs> I love gold. All right. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm really glad that you found your way back today and you're back for another video, another 20 minutes with me. Today I have prepared a jewelry collection for you because honestly over the years I <laughs> yeah, I have collected a couple of pieces which I hold very dear to my heart, at least most of them, and yeah, that's what I would like to share today. So let's start with what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing a ring, wearing a ring, it is a golden ring, and actually I got this from my mother, it was once hers, but then she stopped wearing it and gave it to me, and ever since then I have worn it here and there. The thing that I am wearing today would be this necklace, it is just a golden heart with a... I don't know what's in there, it's probably glass. It's not an expensive um, one, but I love it. I think it's so cute, like with the heart. I don't know, it's, it's just cute. And also I'm wearing golden little earrings. It's also pure gold. And then I have like these hoops with glittery stones in them. But to be honest, I got them, I got them in a drugstore, so. <laughs> Okay, now that I have shared what I am wearing today, because as I said, this is from my mother, this was like a mangoon or something. Um, the golden ones are from Christ in Germany and these ones, as I just said, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so I would say let's continue by kind of jewelry. I have my, oh, my big jewelry box here where I store all of my favorite things, basically. So let's open it up. I will actually start with rings today. So I will just show you all of my rings. One you have already seen. So let's continue with one of my favorite rings, which is this one. And this ring is from Missouri. It is their, yeah, croissant ring. <laughs> and I just love it. It's such a statement and I have the gold vermeil so it's not the pure gold version because I just wanted to test out how much I love this if I if it makes sense to invest in a pure gold one and I think I might down the line because I really love this and I have worn it so much. I once thought that I lost it and literally almost my <laughs> like my whole day was almost ruined which is sad because it's like just a ring but it it's not just a ring for me because it is one of the first jewelry pieces that I could afford for myself that were not like high street or super cheap. So it was kind of important, but I didn't lose it. I left it at my friend's house. Okay, continuing, uh, we have this ring, which is also just gold vermeil. And it's this very, very gorgeous, it's this very, very gorgeous rose gold ring with... Yeah, glittery stones in the middle. Also, again, I think this glass or something, it's not super, like, high-end, but I just think that it's so pretty. And, like, it can... Like, if you're wearing a very simple outfit, like me, for example, like a very, um, yeah, monochrome outfit, then a ring like this can just change your whole outfit and make it look super expensive and elevated, which I love. Next one up would be a very simple gold ring with also again <laughs> glittery stones as you can probably tell by now I love my glittery stones. Again I got this in a German drugstore. It is also just gold vermeil. However I am quite impressed. I wore it quite often and it has not like lost color or anything so that's great. Next one is a <laughs> high street, not high street, but like, yeah, I don't know, a high street ring. And it's so glittery. I bought this last year and I haven't used it super often, which I don't know why. I think it's gorgeous, honestly. Look at that. 
it's just so glittery. I'm gonna show you in the sunlight. Like, will you look at that? I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> let's continue with the next one. Next one up would be also a ring that I hold very dear to my heart and that I probably should clean <laughs> soon. I haven't worn it in a long time, but it's special to me. It's special to me because my mother gave this to me when I had like my wisdom tooth pulled and she basically said to me this this is from the tooth fairy which was so cute I was like 17 back then and again this is like gold vermeil and like some stone in there but I don't know which one I'm super bad with those things I just like pretty things but I don't I don't know about the stones and everything that much and yeah I just feel like a little princess when I when I wear this yeah so this has very special meaning to me ah oh, the next one also has special meaning not like I didn't get it as a gift but I bought it for myself so fun fact about me or like not fun but like a fact about me is I lived in Berlin for two years and they had like these amazing street markets and one was in Hackescher Markt and they also had always jewelry in those markets and that's where I got this one. It's a very, very dainty, simple pearl. It is a very, very dainty, simple pearl ring. Again, gold vermeil. However, the gold has subsided a little bit. Truth be told, I wore it a lot and I also washed my hands like with soap and didn't take it off and stuff. So I'm totally fine with it. But yeah, I bought it at one of those stands while I was like romantically like going through the market alone and looking at all of the different jewelry and yeah so special meaning with that one as well <laughs> next one up is again a ring that I got from my mother because she wasn't wearing it anymore and to be fair I haven't worn it super often either but it is this golden ring with a lilac stone and like little white ones on the side and I think it's super gorgeous however it's also like quite big and I never found like an occasion to wear it where it also fit my outfit combination but I have a lilac blouse that I think like a purple blouse that I think I will wear with this ring soon because it's actually quite nice and also again it's real gold so makes absolute sense okay <laughs> the next Three rings that I have here I also hold very dear to my heart because actually I got them from my grandmother um, so she didn't wear them anymore and she gave them to me and they are all silver usually I am more of a gold like wearing person I have more of a um, warm skin tone and I have brown eyes so so sir like an Australian sir <laughs> I'm sorry so golden jewelry usually fits me better and it's those three rings so they are all silver um, two of them have like some stone in them and those three I have worn a lot especially when I was like and again those three I have worn a lot especially when I was in like my hipster face and I wore more silver until I discovered that I actually love gold and I like, like you know but sometimes I still wear those when I'm wearing an outfit for example that is all silver and um, silver <laughs> where like it makes sense to wear silver is what I wanted to say okay I think that's it with the rings actually oh no I have one more <laughs> and it's a very gorgeous one and it's this one it's real gold and like again a stone that I don't know <laughs> and like little white stones on the side and I think it is absolutely gorgeous like look how the light is reflecting in the stone in the middle it's just every girl's dream I think and honestly I have worn this a lot when I was a teenager and I still love it and I think I'm gonna wear it tonight because I'm going out with two of my girlfriends later, so I might wear it. And it also fits this one. Look, they both have blue stones. I 
it's a very good idea. I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Next one up, I will show you my bracelets. Honestly, I don't have a lot of bracelets. I'm more of a watch kind of person. Um, oh, well. Okay, so the first one, I love this. It's so pretty. It's this silver bracelet with this blue heart. And again, how the light is reflecting. I just think that this is so pretty. And I, I wish... I had this as a necklace. How cute would that be? Okay, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a bracelet and I have worn it a couple of times but not too often because again it's silver and I like gold more actually. Okay, the next one is a golden bracelet and this funny fact honestly. I like if you have sticked around on my channel for <laughs> some time you know that I am like not a perfume addict but like perfume enthusiast, I would call it, okay? And once I bought a perfume, it was Nomad from Chloe, and I bought it in a package with a body lotion, and this was a bracelet that the cashier gave me when I bought it, and it's the cutest bracelet. I don't know, I don't think it's even gold vermeil, however, I wore it in the shower, in the pool, and it hasn't lost color, so I'm quite impressed with this bracelet, honestly. And it has the cutest little, like, things in there. Like, in the middle, you have a Chloe sign, then you have a little perfume bottle here in the top and also on the bottom, which is like, oh, I love this. I think it's so sweet. And I don't care that it was a gift because um, it's super cute. Fun fact, I once saw an influencer while I was on the plane back to Munich from Mykonos and she was wearing this. So if an influencer is wearing it, so am I. Okay, so another bracelet would be this one. It is actually from Tiffany, so the real Tiffany and Co. brand. I think every girl knows it. And I have had this since I was 17 and I don't wear it super often anymore because it's silver. <laughs> I love gold. Yeah, but it's still a very nice bracelet and I'm super grateful to have something from Tiffany because it's not, um, yeah, not a given. And okay, the next thing I would show would be watches because it kind of goes hand in hand with bracelets. And the first one is this watch, which I have gotten quite recently. It is from Victoria Hyde London, which I love because I have a... <laughs> I have a little obsession with London and like Great Britain in general. I don't know what it is, but I'm just... Uh, I love it. And yeah, it just makes me look smart, if I dare say so. And especially at work, I like to wear a watch because I think it makes you look like you have your shit together. Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> no, it's not actually. A lot of business people wear watches. If you want to look professional, get a watch. Um, <laughs> that being said, earrings. Let's continue with earrings. So I have shown you these. Um, next one up. I have two pairs of Michael Kors earrings, both which I got from my lovely sister as birthday presents. And yeah, those are the first ones. I have worn them a lot quite recently and I love them. They are just the most adorable little things and it doesn't scream Michael Kors, but they are still really pretty. And the second pair of Michael Kors earrings that I have are, they are a bit different. They are these, I don't know what they are called, studs or something like this and yeah, you just stick them in your ear and then you have little Michael Kors earrings, which is pretty cool. Okay, the next earrings that I have, I wear them all the time. I think this is my most worn piece of jewelry and I've had them since I was like eight. <laughs> I don't know, nine. Pretty, pretty, like I've had them forever. Maybe even longer than that. Let me show you. It is these little hoop earrings 
They are gold. gold and again they have some sort of stone and I wear these all the time. Like I can only tell you invest in some good pair of golden jewelry which you will wear all the time. I wear this in the shower, I wear this in the pool, I wear this literally everywhere. So yeah. I am in love with hoop earrings which I which is why I also have these. These again were not expensive but I like to have some fast fashion things in there as well. <laughs> Another pair of hoop earrings. Those are however however a bit bigger and they are rose gold. Also love those. Another pair of hoop earrings <laughs> would be these. They are again a more yellowish gold. Sorry if the setup keeps changing but again the sun is coming in and like I cannot sit in the sun and film. I just cannot do it. Uh, another pair of earrings that I hold very dear to my heart and even though they are silver I have worn them so much and I still wear them are these ones. I have two of them of course and look at that they are so beautiful like how the light reflects in them. I just cannot and since I have brown eyes like the stone in the middle goes super well with my eyes I don't know if you can tell. They come with a matching necklace! How cool! <laughs> and it's again the most dainty, pretty necklace ever. I've had this set since I was 19 and I got it from my grandma while we were in Poland together. I, like decided what I wanted. I'm so proud <laughs> of 19 year old me for picking that. I mean it's silver and yeah, just gorgeous. I love it. Polish jewelry, honestly. Chef's kiss. Okay, the next necklace again is quite dainty. I just love dainty pieces. I don't like super big chunky things. I don't think it suits me very well. But yeah, it's this blue and gold <laughs> necklace. And I have worn this quite a lot last summer. Right now I was looking for it. And it's so pretty. I I think I will wear it again soon. Yeah. Uh, the next necklace is just so cute. <laughs> Look at that. It's a golden turtle. I always wear this in summer and people often ask me why do you have a turtle as a necklace and I'm like because it's cute. Duh. Who wouldn't want a turtle in a necklace in summer? <laughs> like I do. <laughs> Hilarious. And then I have another set which I also have from my grandma and I really love it because I'm a sucker for classic jewelry and again even though it's silver I think it suits me quite well because it's like this classic style. It's just a real pearl with some silver and Matching earrings. I just love it when my jewelry matches. I think it's so classic. And that just elevates every outfit. Like right now I'm dressed in this black dress and just imagine me putting on pearl earrings instead of what I'm wearing right now. It would change the whole outfit to be a much more classic one, much more like, oh my god, Chanel vibes. Maybe I will change my jewelry today, honestly, because I'm feeling like wearing this again. I haven't in a while. One more necklace. <laughs> I wore this a lot when I was still partying as a student, so don't judge me, but it's this just <laughs> super glittery choker. Oh, it's glam. I love it. I still love it. I also have this choker, which I wore in a previous video, which I also am like obsessed with. It's like just this rose thing, which you put around your neck. Love it. Especially with my rose vest. Amazing. All right, my lovelies, I have like hid from the sun. Like the whole corner where I was filming is just in pure sunlight now and I just cannot. <laughs> I'm not wearing enough sunscreen on my body. No, just kidding. I just, I'm getting overheated and I don't want to sweat too much because I'm going out later. 
But all jokes aside, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed showing you all of my jewelry. <laughs> As you can probably tell by now, I'm like obsessed with perfume, makeup, jewelry, bags. <laughs> and yeah, if you are obsessed with those things as well, welcome to the club. I hope you subscribe. I hope you give me a thumbs up. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Until then, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day or night, whenever you're watching this. And yeah, bye!